Each and everybody should on your camera. Okay, let me see everybody. It is given wrong in module. K Bharat, it is given wrong in module. As per the law, if you see the definition, there must be consideration in agreement. And I am very amazed that it is written in the agreement is equal to, uh, in module it is written agreement is equal to offer plus acceptance. It is absolutely wrong. Without consideration, there can cannot be any agreement. It is given wrong in module. In mo in exam, you have to write what I have I have said to you, but definitely examiner will not going to ask you that what is the definition of agreement. Everybody should be camera on and I am I'm giving you warning for the last time that if anybody's camera is not on, I will remove the participant and I request the KS Academy staff, please do me a favor to me. That if anybody's camera is not on, please remove that particular boy or girl from the session and definitely I'll remove. Definitely I'll remove today. Without giving a warning, I'll remove. Please keep this on your mind. And once I remove anybody, once I remove anybody, he or she cannot join until and unless the staff member rejoins it. So please make sure that your camera should be on. Without giving warning, I'll remove each and everybody whose camera is not on. Without giving warning, I'm telling this in the very, in the very uh, start of the class. So please keep this in mind that each and everybody's camera should be on. Each and everybody's camera should be on. Please keep this in mind. Please keep this in mind. I'll remove the participant like Sahana Selvaraj, Ritik. Savan, Nick Jerry, Pradeep, Rosita, Hari Sudhan, each and every everybody's camera should be on. I'll remove without giving a single opportunity. Please keep this in mind. I want each and everybody's of you camera should be on. Your camera should be on. And please, I am giving you warning for the last time, I will remove the person without giving an opportunity. I am telling this in the very start of the class. If anybody's camera is not on, I will remove that person. Please keep this in mind. I want each and everyone's camera should be on throughout the class. Throughout the class. Yes. Everybody's camera should be on. Yeah, Nick Jerry, now it is visible. Bhavya Ramesh. Bhavya Ramesh. Okay. After 5 minutes, I will check whether each and everyone's camera is on or not. Please keep your camera on. It should, it should be professional. It should be, it should feel like a classroom. Everybody's camera should be on. If anybody's camera is not on, I'll remove that particular person without giving an opportunity. I'm telling this in the very start of the class. Please keep this in mind. So, a very good morning to all of you. A very good morning. K. Bharat, we will entertain your doubt after the session resumes. Please keep this as a, please keep this as a copy paste, this text. The whole book you have sent, I, I guess, okay. Now, please have a look, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Yesterday, yesterday we have started. Just a moment. Yes, yesterday we have started. From the topic of free consent, let me tell you about the free consent. Free consent, there is nowhere defined. Free consent is not defined anywhere. Anywhere by the Indian Contract Act. Free consent has not been defined anywhere in the Indian Contract Act. 
what indian contract has defined is five elements indian contract act 1872 is saying that if this five elements are absent in your agreement via taking consent of the parties i will assume that the consent of the party is free and we don't want consent we want free consent we don't want consent we want free consent so what are those five elements coercion undue influence misrepresentation fraud mistake this five elements should be absent while taking consent of the party this five element should be absent while taking consent of the party and if the consent is obtained by coercion undue influence fraud misrepresentation in this four cases the contract is voidable at the option of aggrieved party and in case of mistake the contract is void now what do you mean by contract is voidable at the option of aggrieved party voidable means nobody will get to know that the fraud happens to him at the time of entering of contract definitely that person will get to know that the fraud happened misrepresentation happened to him at the time of entering into a contract in future time so if tomorrow somebody is getting that the fraud happens to me the contract act is giving a right that your at your option the contract is voidable voidable means you can make this contract void exercise your option if the guy is exercising the option the contract will become void contract and void contract means not enforceable by law if the guy do not exercise his right the contract will be valid everybody and we have learned that is two type of void one is void agreement another is void contract when we say void agreement is void ab initio void from the very beginning and it happens due to initial impossibility you are entering into agreement with minor you are entering into agreement in restraint of trade in restraint of marriage these are initial impossibility the agreement itself the agreement itself will be void there is no question of forming of contract the agreement itself is void everybody the second one is void contract due to supervening impossibility it means at the time of entering into a contract the contract is valid but after entering into a contract some supervening impossibility which is beyond the control of the party which makes the contract void and not enforceable we have taken an example of the rapper in this case so void agreement void contract voidable contract free consent we have learned till this after that we have moved after that we have moved we have moved to types of contract and types of contract on the basis of enforceability which type of contract is enforceable which type of contract is not enforceable it means which type of contract contract act makes enforceable so there are total five types of contract if the contract is enforceable you have to give a thumbs up like this and if it not you have to give a thumbs up like this valid contract enforceable or not enforceable enforceable void contract enforceable or not enforceable at the time of entering into a contract void contract is enforceable or not enforceable at the time of entering at the time of entering into a contract void contract is enforceable it becomes void after supervening impossibility yes or no yes third one voidable contract enforceable or not enforceable i'll do like this i'll do like this because it depends on the aggrieved party it depends on the aggrieved party whether he wants to make it void or he wants to make it valid yes or no everybody I, i'll do like this because it depends it depends on the aggrieved party everybody yes or no illegal contract enforceable or not enforceable 
अनएनफोर्सेबल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इनफोर्सेबल और नॉट इनफोर्सेबल अगेन आई डू लाइक दिस इट डिपेंड्स इफ यू रिमूव द टेक्निकल डिफिकल्टी इट विल बिकम इनफोर्सेबल इफ द टेक्निकल डिफिकल्टी इज देयर इट इज नॉट इनफोर्सेबल यस एवरीबडी एवरीबडी नाउ वी विल मूव अहेड टूमोरो वी विल लर्न अनदर टाइप ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट बट लेट मी टेक अ डाउट सम बडी एस सेंड कंप्लीट बुक इन द टेक्स्ट दट सर आई एम हैविंग डाउट लाइक दिस वी के सर आई हैव अ डाउट I'm entering a contract, but later it turned into void contract. So how will I be benefited if contract is void by fraud? So after we come a void, next step, what we will do by aggrieved party? Sir, I'm entering into contract, but later it turned into void contract. So how I will be benefited if contract is void? You have you have to take your money back. You have to take your money back. You have to claim damages because fraud happened to you. you will sue for the damages okay now ladies and gentlemen boys and girls after that we have learned difference between void and voidable void and illegal agreement was also done now types of contract please have a look on this now we are learning types of contract based on formation please have a look based on formation your 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 focus should be in the screen based on formation now based on formation means how many type like by how you can make a contract there are n number of things by you can make a contract first one is express contract spoken or written the agreement which is entered by you and me is an express agreement express contract my dear student you came to this academy you inquired about the academy you inquired about the courses offered by the academy etc etc after having a words expressly spoken or written vignesh sir came to you he spoke to you he told you about the batch sara sir came to you he taught you i am i came to you i taught you the agreement entered between us is a express contract express agreement which is spoken or written when you enter when you enter into a rent agreement rent agreement when you hire a when you when you when you when you take the house in rent there is agreement entered between landlord and the tenant that agreement is a express agreement express contract so you can form the contract by way of an express agreement express contract or you can form a contract impliedly now before moving to implied please try and understand contract act itself is telling even if the contract is not in writing no problem at all you can do the contract in writing you can do the contract orally spoken although there is nothing in writing although there is nothing in writing you have entered into a contract by word of mouth it's absolutely fine there is no where written in the indian contract act 1872 that the agreement should be in writing but let me tell you guys the complete law is adopted by you india from the uk in uk it is mandatory that your agreement should be in writing unless and until your agreement is not in writing it is not enforceable by law but in india we are flexible we are flexible that even though the agreement is not in writing it is oral it is enforceable this is the first one express contract the second one is implied implied please try and understand implied which parties never intended the contract which parties never thought that this will happen made otherwise than words otherwise than words without uttering a single words you are, you entered into a contract without uttering a single word you enter into a contract without now let me give you an example of this which parties never intended they haven't thought that they will enter into this contract without uttering a single word they enter into a contract what is the example of this implied contract have you ever seen have you ever seen in the train when when the train stops in the platform 
देर आर पीपल वेयरिंग रेड ड्रेस हैविंग अ बैच नंबर हियर हैविंग अ नाइस गमछा हियर हु आर दे हु आर दे लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स कुली यस कुलीस वन डे आई वॉज ट्रेवलिंग माई ट्रेन स्टॉप इन द प्लेटफॉर्म आई केम आउट ऑफ द ट्रेन विथ माई थ्री बैग्स आई केप्ट ऑल द थ्री बैग्स इन द प्लेटफॉर्म वन गाय केम विद दैट रेड ड्रेस हैविंग अ बैच नंबर विदाउट आस्किंग मी विदाउट आस्किंग मी विदाउट आस्किंग मी ही स्टार्टेड पिकिंग माई बैग्स वन बैग इन हैड वन बैग हियर वन बैग हियर he picked all my bags by his attire i got to know he is a kuli he will definitely not take my bag not steal the bag he will not steal the bag at all so don't you feel by taking my bag in head and in one hand in another hand he just gave me an offer that i'll i'll drop your bag to your cab without uttering a single word he gave me an offer and i haven't stopped him that what you are doing because i i got to know that he's a kuli he will definitely follow me he will keep the bags in my cab and will and will definitely uh, without asking any word i'll give you 50 or 100 rupees so the guy without asking me picked my bag followed me loaded my bag in the cab and without uttering a single word i put rupees 100 out of my pocket i kept uh, 100 rupees i gave to that guy don't you think it's a implied contract without uttering a single word everybody yes or no which part is never intended which part is never intended it is made otherwise than in words otherwise than in words no words no express communication only by the situation everybody so it is an implied contract is a contract which parties never intended i have never intended whether i'll i'll enter into a contract with the kuli just he came gave an offer impliedly i gave an offer ex, uh, i i gave acceptance impliedly how i gave acceptance the moment i omitted myself i am not stopping him this is the acceptance i am not stopping him this is the acceptance he is picking my bag he is the offer without uttering a single word everybody thumbs up okay yeah made otherwise than in words let us move to the another provision tacit contract now ladies and gentlemen boys and girls please understand this tacit contract you will find tacit contract and implied contract very similar but there is a thin line difference you will find implied contract and tacit contract very similar but there is a thin line difference between the two a very thin line difference between the two implied contract and tacit contract akshya sri please focus there is a very thin line difference between tacit contract and implied contract please try and understand please have a word it is a situation where a contract has to be understood from the conduct of the party by conduct by party's conduct you have to assume that there is a contract or not for suppose ladies and gentlemen boys and girls please have a look on the example suppose suppose you are standing on the bus stop mahavishnu get your face rid off with some water you are just yawning on the camera yes please everybody focus on the screen you are standing on the bus stop the bus came in the windshield of the bus in the windshield in the front glass of the bus it is written that this bus will go to the xyz area you want to go to that xyz area you are you are standing on the bus stop waiting for the bus the moment bus came with the windshield having a having a display that this will uh, this bus will go to the xyz area the moment bus stopped the bus is giving you an offer the moment you boarded on the bus the moment you boarded on the bus you are giving your acceptance 
so the bus gave you an offer by stopping on the bus stop you gave an acceptance by boarding on the bus without uttering a single word it may seems you it may seems you that it is also implied contract what is the difference the very thin line difference between the implied contract and the tacit contract is in the tacit contract you will find one way a machine just like a bus and one way a person a individual person this is the difference in implied contract you will find both the parties as an individual person or the two companies but in case of tacit contract you will find one machine and one person another example atm machine in atm machine it gives a signal green signal it gives a signal that you have to put your card here tip 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 that that light blinks that green light blinks that you have to swipe swipe the card here and take it out that blinking of the green light in the atm machine is offering you that you can take out of uh, out of me the money the moment you swipe the card it is acceptance the one side is machine and the one side is individual you both entered into a tacit contract without uttering a single word are you getting my point ladies and gentlemen boys and girls another example another example weighing machine by which you check your weight how how much you have put on that machine you will find in the railway station in the restaurant or in some public place it displays put rupees 1 rupee put 1 rupee coin on me and stand on me i'll tell you your weight yes usually girl what uh, usually girls do like this they watch like this nobody is watching put 1 rupee coin and they got stand up in the platform and they got so oh my goodness 10 kg plus so that offer that display that put 1 rupees coin is an offer you put 1 rupees coin and get stand on the machine is an acceptance is a tacit contract everybody it's a tacit contract everybody getting the point hello now there is one type of more contract quasi contract which is not given in this page but it is given in in the last of this page quasi contract let me show you quasi contract there is one more contract or quasi contract quasi yeah there is one more contract called quasi contract now please try and understand this please try and understand this quasi contract please have a look on the screen quasi contract just a moment now my dear student you please tell me you please tell me in every contract there is right and obligation in every contract there is rights and obligation are you agree with me i'll i'll give you an example in every contract there is rights and obligation on each party on each party in every contract there is rights and obligations on each party how let me tell you for suppose you and us the ksa and the students let us discuss one by one rights obligation rights obligation 
वॉट इज द राइट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट इन दिस कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एंटर्ड बाई यू एन एस द राइट टू रिसीव क्वालिटी एजुकेशन दिस इज योर राइट एवरीबडी टू रिसीव क्वालिटी एजुकेशन दिस इज योर राइट वॉट आर योर ऑब्लिगेशन टू पे द फीस टू पे द फीस एवरीबडी here what is the right to receive the fees an obligation to provide quality education am i right am i right everybody now the point is my dear students don't you think this rights and obligation are created by parties to the contract this is the contract between the parties this rights and obligation is created by party to the contract who are the party to the contract you are the party to the contract and we are the party to the contract this rights and obligation are created by us by entering into a contract yes or no everybody so this amounts to contract where the rights and obligation are created by parties now i am giving you one situation now i am giving you one situation please have a look on this you want to note it down note it down first fast note it down i'll give you another situation let me check okay i found some of the person who put it their camera off and i am simply removing them simply removing them and they have to ask with the ks academy staff to join them i'm just removing them yes i have removed pradeep i have removed pradeep and i'm re removing one more akshay camera is off i'm removing akshay okay malvika santosh camera is off removing you three people i have removed ritika you have just keeping your camera on right now removed bhavya ramesh you have just kept your camera on i am removing you from the meeting yeah narmada your camera is off i am removing you four people i have removed whatever taken i have uh, just took a name i have removed each and every one thilageshwari a thilageshwari a you are just on your camera right now i am removing you five people i have removed i am requesting ks academy staff that they won't be able to join the this zoom meeting they won't be able to join this zoom meeting so please take care please take responsibility how they will join the class i have removed them roshita i can't see your camera you have just kept your camera on right now elegno m lokesh pradeep i am giving you last warning to all this last people you may have joined after the after the warning so please put your camera on lokesh i am giving you warning for the last time Lokesh, I am giving you uh, warning for the last time. Yes, and to you also, Elegno Goa M. I am giving you warning for the last time to each and everybody. Yes, I want each and everybody's camera should be on. Ravan P, I am not able to see you. I have removed five people straight away right now. I have removed the five people. If you if you if you are sincere enough in the classroom, you have to put your camera on. Jason Abraham I am giving you warning for the last time Yes please put your camera on I'll remove the person I want your camera should be on so I can see what you are doing etc see and if there is any genuine issue if there is any genuine issue behind this not putting on the camera please pre inform that pre inform that in the text or anywhere you have to pre inform it you have to pre inform it if there is any genuine issue pradeep 
प्रीता प्रदीप प्रीता श्रीवस्थन आर श्वेता सो ऑल द पीपल हु हैव जस्ट जस्ट केप्ट ऑन द कैमरा आई एम गिविंग यू वॉर्निंग फॉर द लास्ट टाइम ईच एंड एवरीबडीज कैमरा शुड बी ऑन आई हैव रिमूव फाइव पीपल फ्रॉम द जूम मीटिंग जस्ट नाउ बिकॉज द कैमरा वॉज ऑन दशवनी थ्री वेंकटेशन दशवनी थ्री वेंकटेशन एवरीबडी शुड बी एवरी वन कैमरा शुड बी ऑन आई एम गिविंग यू वॉर्निंग त्रिशा त्रिशा अगेन योर कैमरा इज ऑफ Trust me, I'm giving you an opportunity for the last time. I have just removed five people right now. I'll remove without uttering a single word. I need an excuse for today alone, sir. Okay, Danush, Kumar L, Kumar L, Rosita A. Last five minutes, I'm giving. Last five minutes, and this is the final call. This is the final warning. Last five minutes, without uttering a single word. without asking you the camera is off or not without asking last 5 minute i am giving you to all the last people without asking anything i'll remove without asking anything without asking okay last 5 minutes i am giving you i am seeing that uh, dhanush so dhanush is an excuse for today lohita satyajit okay then srivardhan s okay i am giving you warning for the last time last 5 minutes i am giving you sir i need to go to the hand wash shall i please you go your camera should be on okay it okay like for 2 minute 5 minutes you are going to the washroom or some somebody is coming you can put your camera off but throughout the uh, throughout the session i want your camera should be on okay yes yes okay let us move ahead ladies and gentlemen boys and girls let us move ahead ladies and gentlemen boys and girls so in every contract there is a rights and obligation on each party so this is the contract where the rights and obligation created by us somebody has asked me to give another example let me give another example in this case suppose <coughs> i am selling a car suppose i am selling a car i am having a mercedes benz maybach version i am selling a car to whom i am selling a car i am selling a car to saket for how much amount i am selling the car 20 lakh rupees okay for 20 lakh rupees okay big shot man saket is buying the car mercedes benz maybach for 20 lakh rupees what are the rights and obligation my rights is to receive 20 lakh my obligation is to deliver the car along with the ownership what is the rights and obligation of saket saket's right is to receive the car and obligation is to pay 20 lakh rupees in every contract there is a rights and obligation created by the parties themselves by entering into a contract yes everybody now let us move to the quasi contract let us move to quasi contract so in case of quasi contract my dear students Saket is telling I just thought about Mercedes very shocking I can read your mind my dear Yeah see the expression of Saket is is like amazed my goodness what happened just right now Saket I even know which girl is running on your mind right now can I reveal it I know what thought you are giving with that girl can I can I reveal that thought Saket in your mind is very very beautiful ladies coming in your mind right now with whom you are in mercedes can i reveal that girl okay if you'll allow i'll reveal okay let us understand the quasi contract please try and understand my dear student what do you mean by quasi contract so suppose suppose here is arjun okay so i lost my wallet keys some important documents etc in pathway 
or in the public place anywhere anywhere i lost all these things now this guy saket now this guy saket saket was passing from that pathway and he found all these things found all these things all these things he found now the saket is here is the finder of lost good finder of lost goods okay now saket you please tell me what you will do whether you will keep my wallet along with the money keys and important document whether you will keep these things or whether you will return it see morally yeah you will try to reach me morally it's your moral duty to find out the true person and hand over the stuff to the true person immorally you may have a thought immorally you may have a thought oh i got the wallet there's a lot of money let me keep it with me but no if you will do like this immorally it is unlawful because the principle on which quasi contract is based the principle is no one shall grow rich no one shall grow rich out of another person's loss by making my loss you cannot benefit yourself so my dear student the moment the moment you find the lost goods at that particular moment the moment you kept my wallet my keys my important document in your custody the moment you kept this in your custody in that very particular moment the indian contract act 1872 will come from sky in the form of god that my dear saket you you got an obligation you got an obligation you have to return this lost goods to the true owner this is your obligation and the indian contract act in the form of god will come to me and will tell me that the finder of lost goods will return you this goods this is your right now my point is ladies and gentlemen boys and girls whether there was offer and acceptance whether there was contract between arjun and saket that my dear saket whenever you will find my lost good you shall return me i'll pay you some money no there was no contract at all the rights and obligation are not created by arjun and saket here the rights and obligation is created by law here the rights and obligation is created by law so my point is my dear students in case of quasi contract in case of quasi contract there is no offer no acceptance and it is not a contract in strict sense in strict sense but it resembles it resembles like a contract and hence known as quasi contract so what do you mean by quasi contract which is not a contract actually but it resembles like a contract the thing which resembles like a contract is termed as quasi contract similar to contract quasi contract not actual a contract but similar to contract is a quasi contract and what is the major difference between contract and quasi contract is the major difference is the major difference is in case of contract the rights and obligation are created by parties but in case of quasi contract the rights and obligation is created by law my dear student 
प्लीज राइट इट डाउन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट कॉसी कॉन्ट्रैक्ट राइट्स एंड ऑब्लिगेशन क्रिएटेड बाय पार्टीज राइट्स एंड ऑब्लिगेशन क्रिएटेड बाय लॉ एवरीबॉडी यू गॉट माय पॉइंट यस थैंक यू सो मच सूर्या सर माय इंटरनेट इज टोटली अनस्टेबल आई विल स्विच ऑन द वीडियो इन अ फ्यू मिनट्स नो प्रॉब्लम सूर्या so the 5 minutes is over now the 5 minutes is over now without uttering a single word let me do let me exercise some of my power again let me exercise some of my power again so the people who have just kept on the camera just kept on the camera what should i do divya shri what should i do with you you have just kept your ca camera on right now what should i do with you thumbs up i should remove you thumbs down i should not why why let me unmute you let me unmute you yes unmute yourself please tell i have problem in my phone sir what problem you have my dear it uh, automatically gets out and how can i can get in like okay yeah i got your point there's some technical issue because of you you get out of the meeting by default there is a lack of internet connection in your site i i guess the uh, in internet it's phone problem acha it's acha it's, it's just a phone problem okay please try to keep your camera on okay okay you can you can mute yourself यस रोसिता रितिका रोसिता रितिका रोसिता ए रोसिता ए एंड रितिका या श्याम सुधन व्हाट शुड आई डू विथ यू श्याम सुधन व्हाट शुड आई डू विथ यू शैल आई कीप यू इन द मीटिंग और शैल आई रिमूव यू प्लीज अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ Unmute yourself, Shama Sudan. Shama Sudan, unmute yourself. Uh, sorry, Hari, Hari Dhar Sudan. Hari Dhar Sudan, please unmute yourself. Yes, where that person gone? Yeah, please have a look on the above slide. ओके रितिका उथया कुमार रितिका उथया कुमार हरिहर सुधन हरिहर सुधन व्हाट शुड आई डू या हरि राम आर एस व्हाट शुड आई डू विथ यू अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ यू हैव जस्ट ऑन योर कैमरा राइट नाउ हाँ या व्हाट शुड आई डू विथ यू Yes, sir. I'm sorry, I'm too tough. Guest came just that's why you have put off the camera. Now, yeah, okay. Ritika is telling network issue. Surya, Surya SS, Surya SS, Surya SS. Can you please unmute yourself? Sir, I sent text. Okay, sir, my internet is totally unstable. I'll switch on the video. And okay, okay, okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. I forgot. Okay. Anitha L. Anitha L. Anitha L. Sarvanan S R. Sarvanan S R. Anitha. Sarvanan P. Surya Sarvanan P. Sarvanan 
P. Yes, Sarvanan P. You have just kept on your camera right now. Yes. What should I do? Unmute yourself, Sarvanan P. What should I do, Sarvanan P? Yes. No, you have just turned on the camera, my dear. You have just turned on the camera. See the yes. Please, please, please keep your camera on, please. I want each and everybody's face should appear to me. And let me tell you for your information, if you are on the, if you are keeping a my uh, idea on the mind that I am on the first page of the Zoom, you are mistaken. Actually, on the I am on the last page of the Zoom, last fourth page on the Zoom, where I can see who. Who all the people who just kept on, just like just Jason Man Abraham, you just kept, you just on your camera right now. Whether I should remove you? Yes, Abraham, I should remove you or, should, or I shall keep you. So please, Vikram M, Sarvanan SR, yes, Vikram N, please unmute yourself. What should I do with you, Vikram N? What should I do with you? Yes. Hello, sir. Ah. It's an on, sir. You just you just kept your camera on right now. Ah. No, sir. I, from starting, it is an on. Sir. Yes. Please keep your camera on. Yes, everybody. Sir, I'm eating. After eating, I'll on the camera. I'm eating. Okay. 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 So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the COSI contract. Now, please have a look based on formation. How much contract we have learned? Based on formation, we have learned express contract. The second one is implied contract. The third one is tacit contract. After the tacit contract, the fourth one is the COSI contract. In this four types, the contract may be formed. Either you can form a contract, make a contract by uh, expressing the words Either you can make a contract by implied contract but without uttering a single word. The third is tacit contract. The fourth one is a cosy contract. Yes, everybody? Everybody. So, these are the four types of contract based on formation. Now, we are moving based on performance. Based on performance. Now, what do you mean by performance? Performance means... Whatever promise we are making, whether we are fulfilling those promise, whether we have fulfilled complete promise like for suppose example my dear students please have a look on this. If the KS Academy is promising you that they will conduct a regular batch for you, yes everybody. If the KS Academy is promising you that we will conduct a regular batch of for suppose 50 hours, 60 hours. After that, you will be giving a test series, you will be giving an examination, we will conduct your exam. After that, we will also take a revision batch. After that, we will also take the revision batch of yours. So, these are the promises made by us. Now, based on performance, based on performance means, for suppose, the student promised that sir, I'll pay the fees on installment. Currently, I don't have all the amount together. You please allow me to the classroom. You please allow me to the classroom. Sarvanan P, your camera is off. Sarvanan P, your camera is off. You please allow me in the classroom. You please allow me in the classroom. I'll pay the fees in three installment. 10,000, 10,000, 10,000. On your promise that you will pay the fees, we allowed you in the classroom. Now from our side, the class is conducted. Our side, the test got conducted. Revision is over. Even you have given the exam. But yet, your fees is not came to us. So what we will tell this type of contract where one of the party to the contract, one of the party to the contract has fulfilled the promise. Perform the promise. Whatever we have promised, we have performed. Regular batch, revision batch, test. Everybody performed. Everything performed. Whatever we have promised, we performed it. But from your side, you haven't performed your obligation. You haven't paid the fees. 
So what we will call this type of contract where one of the party to the contract perform the obligation and the one of the parties having a pending obligation. What if both the parties perform, you also paid the fees, complete fees and we also perform the complete regular batch etc etc etc. To this type of contract is known as executed contract where the contract is wholly performed. Wholly performed in both the parties fulfill their obligation. We, we given you the class, test, etc. You paid the fees, you given the exam, you cracked the CA foundation. Both parties fulfill their obligation. The contract is known as executed contract. Vikram N. Vikram M. Please turn on your camera. The second one is executory contract. The second one is executory contract. Executory means which is partially performed or wholly unperformed. Partially performed or wholly unperformed. Partially performed means what? We completed our obligation, but the fees is yet pending. It means it's partially performed. But your side is pending or wholly unperformed. Wholly unperformed means our obligation is also pending. Your obligation is also pending. The third one is unilateral contract, where obligation one-sided contract in which only one party performs his obligation. Just given an example, we completed our obligation but your obligation is pending. Bilateral contract, where obligation of both the parties is outstanding. Now please tell me, now please tell me the contract which is going on between you and me right now. Which type of contract it is? Unilateral, bilateral. Which type of contract this is? Unilateral or bilateral? Unilateral or bilateral? It depends on the case to case. It depends on the case to case. If you have paid all your, if you have paid all your money, all your fees, it is unilateral. If you haven't paid the fees right now, you are paying the fees in installment, it is bilateral. Because we say unilateral when one party has performed his obligation. If you have paid, your obligation is complete. My obligation is still pending. My obligation will get completed on the last day when the syllabus will get concluded. Yes, everybody? Yes or no? So it depends on the case to case, whether it is unilateral or bilateral. We are done with the based on performance also. Now, now we are moving to the very important thing, very important topic offer. Now, please try and understand till now what we have learned. <coughs> Institute will never going to ask you tell me the essential condition of section 10. No, Institute will never ask you the essential condition of section 10. Institute will make a case study on any one point of section 10 like for suppose intention to create legal relationship will make a case study and will throw a question to you. Institute will never ask you question what do you mean by contract, what do you mean by agreement, define contract, define agreement, define promise, no. Institute will never ask you types of contract, tell me what are the types of contract based on enforceability, no valid contract, voidable, no. This valid contract, void contract, voidable contract, void agreement are the concept. These are the terminology which I have taught you. Without which you can't understand the contract act. Because this terminology will be used n number of time in the complete act. So these are the terminology, these are the, these are the word which you have, you should understand to get the better understanding of the act. The institute will not going to ask you this type of question. This I have just given you to make a better understanding of the act. Tomorrow if somebody is asking the contract is only performed, what will say it? You must know that the contract is executed contract. But what now I am teaching you? Till now what we, whatever we have learned, only one thing is important till now and that is intention to create legal relationship. Institute usually ask the question from that point intention to create legal relationship. What kind of question institute asks? I'll let you know. Till now, only one topic. From the exam point of view, from the exam point of view, till now is only one topic is relevant, and that topic is intention to create relationship. Till now, whatever we have learned. 
everything is important from the knowledge point of view but from the exam point of view only one topic is relevant right now yet institute will not ask you please tell me types of contract on the basis of formation even if you if you have just read it before the exam you can write it that easy that portion is so institute will never ask this type of easy question institute always search for the spices institute always search for the masala institute always search for the topic in which they can twist the mind of the student like intention i'll give you one question in the intention to create legal relationship after the second unit because institute mix the question on the basis of intention and the second unit consideration i'll give you the question yes permission granted permission granted to san you can turn off your camera for 5 minutes yeah so the another important topic is offer another important topic is offer this is very important topic institute may ask practical question on this topic institute may ask a theory question directly they can ask define offer and state the essential elements of the offer can directly ask this question yes everybody so ladies and gentlemen boys and girls this topic is very important offer i want your complete intention uh, complete attention on this topic priya t you have just on your camera right now please unmute yourself what's going on priya t hello yes priya t what's up yes uh mohana priya t can you please unmute yourself yes morning, yes happy morning why you are turning off your camera and turning on simultaneously no sir i just don't sir just don't but you have kept camera off before this before calling the name please keep your camera on parth sarthi yes devi shri natarajan devi shri natarajan yes please unmute yourself what's up yes sir why you have keeping your camera off haan ji sorry sir can you explain the term legal relationship term in deep for better understanding sir legal relationship simply means an intention legal relationship simply means an intention at the time of entering into an agreement if you are having an intention that if one of the party is not fulfilling the obligation i'll see you if you are having this intention it is a legal relationship there is nothing to explain in this topic in the deep manner nothing to explain the this topic in the deep manner legal relationship simply means the party is having an intention to sue if any of the party is not performing his obligation or his promise this is as simple nothing to explain this in the deep manner yes shweta swathi pooja tharun p yes shweta e ilang govan m santosh kumar s varun raj m mohan kumar s swetha e yeah what's going on sir i am meeting after few minutes i'll on the camera tarunesh are tarunesh are what's going on tarunesh are yeah yeah everybody will give an excuse i am meeting now please focus on the topic offer my dear students i want you to let me know i want you to let me know you have read this term you have read this you have listened this terms earlier from me 
in which topic you have listened this term from me in which topic in which topic yes exactly promise in case of promise the definition of the promise is offer plus acceptance is equal to promise remember or not so at that time we haven't learned what do you mean by offer what do you mean by acceptance we are learning this topic in a great detail manner right now offer before reading the bear language before reading the bear language i want to simplify this definition in very simple equation the equation is offer is equal to willingness plus intention to obtain intention to obtain assent offer is equal to willingness plus intention to obtain assent please focus on this two words on this two words the complete definition is based nobody can give you this equation this equation is derived this equation is derived offer is equal to willingness plus intention to obtain assent intention to obtain assent of the other party let me give you an example ladies and gentlemen boys and girls please focus suppose suppose i am loving a girl very much there is very beautiful girl called neha i love neha so much i want to spend whole of my life with neha assent means to taking to take consent of the party like for suppose if i ask hari chandra whether you will come for dinner with me if you are saying yes it means you are assenting if you are saying no it means you are dissenting just giving the confirmation is the assent so similarly 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 i am asking neha that neha i love you so much i want to spend all of my life with you okay i love you so much i want to spend all of my life with you i'll keep you happy etc 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 can i say i am expressing the willingness right now hello because in willingness willingness means expressing your something like expressing your emotion that i am telling neha i love you okay i want to spend my life with you i want to spend my life with you don't you think these are the willingness that i want to do this i want to do that i this that so this is the mere willingness this is not an offer but when i add along with this that will you marry me this statement is something by this statement there is an intention don't you think by this statement there is my intention i am taking his consent neha i want to spend my life etc 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 will you marry me so here is the intention to obtain assent of neha unless or until you are not obtaining assent it is not an offer so offer is equal to willingness plus intention to obtain what was my willingness what what i was expressing my willingness was that i love you i want to spend my life with you i'm just expressing my willingness what i want mere expressing willingness mere expressing willingness is not an offer it should be associated with intention to obtain them now will you marry me it will amount to an offer let me give you a simple example i'm expressing my willingness i want to sell my mercedes benz for rupees 20 lakh for rupees 20 lakh whether this will amount to an offer if yes thumbs up if no thumbs down whether this will amount to an offer if yes thumbs up if no thumbs down whether this will amount to an offer 
आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग आई वॉन्ट टू सेल माई मर्सरीज बेंच फॉर रुपीज ट्वेंटी लैक वेदर दिस विल अमाउंट टू एन ऑफर थम्स अप फॉर यस थम्स डाउन फॉर नो हेलो एवरीबडी आई एम नॉट गेटिंग एनी बडीज थम्स अप एंड थम्स डाउन एटलीस्ट चूज वन धनुष इज टेलिंग सर दिस इज ओनली विलिंगनेस सर ओके सो फॉर सपोज आई एम एक्सप्रेसिंग दिस विलिंगनेस अगेन टू साकेत अगेन टू साकेत ओके सो आई एम एक्सप्रेसिंग दिस विलिंगनेस टू साकेत दैट साकेत आई वॉन्ट टू सेल माई मर्सरीज बेंस फॉर रुपीज ट्वेंटी लैख Don't you think this is a mere statement? Don't you think this is a mere statement that I'm just giving a mere statement that, yar, uh, that my dear friend Saket, I want to sell my Mercedes Benz for rupees. This is a mere statement. I'm giving a statement that I want to sell. But if along with this statement, I add on. Will you purchase this car? Will you purchase this car? Now, whether this amount to an offer or not. Now, this is an offer because by this, it is a willingness. This statement amounts to willingness that I want to sell my car for rupees twenty lakh. And along with this willingness, I am taking the assent of the opposite party. Will you purchase this car? by this statement there is an intention that i want to obtain the assent of the other party that i want to send the car will you purchase will you purchase this is an offer will you purchase the car by this statement it is the, my my intention is showing you will you purchase the car i want to obtain your assent will you purchase the car this is an offer everybody are you getting my point so mere statement of intention mere statement of intention you are showing your intention that i want to sell this car this is a mere statement of intention you are just expressing your intention you are just expressing your willingness that you want to sell the sell the car so mere statement of willingness mere statement of intention will not amount to offer your statement of intention will you should associate that there should be an intention to obtain assent that will you purchase the car <coughs> ladies and gentlemen boys and girls getting this point everybody this is a very important term excuse me sir i turn off my camera sir to eat breakfast okay now please try and understand my dear student mere statement of intention mere statement of intention is not an offer okay another example another example another example here is my mercedes benz i am the owner saket is coming to me saket is coming to me asking sir if if you want to sell this car if you want to sell this car how much amount you will quote how much amount you will quote you will quote me how much amount you will demand how much amount you will quote so the statement is like this sir if you want to sell this car how much amount you will ask for this car so i am replying to saket that i will charge rupees 15 lakh for this car now my point is whether there is any offer in this scenario in this case whether there is any offer whether there is any offer one person is simply asking sir if tomorrow if you are selling this car how much amount you will ask for this car how much amount you will quote for this car the other person is simply replying that i'll charge 15 lakh rupees for this car if tomorrow i'll sell this car yes mere supply of information can i say this is just an inquiry going on 
can i say this is just an inquiry going on sir tomorrow if you want to sell this car how much amount you will go if tomorrow if tomorrow like today arjun is not selling the car saket is not purchasing the car if if you will sell this car how much amount you will take arjun is replying i'll take 15 lakh rupees whether this will amount to an offer both the parties i can say not both the parties only arjun is just giving his intention arjun is just supplying the information that if tomorrow i'll sell the car i'll charge 15 lakh rupees okay now the saket is adding the word oh 15 lakh rupees sir today only i'll pay you 15 lakh today i'll pay you 15 lakh will you sell this car today for 15 lakh rupees whether this will amount to an offer whether this will amount to an offer he's telling me sir today only i'm giving you 15 lakh rupees will you please give this car will you please give this this will amount to an offer because before this it was a mere question and answer till this till this it is the supply of information till this it was just inquiry it is inquiry on the part of sake it is supplying of information it is supplying of information by arjun but the moment after knowing the information after knowing the information the moment saket told me oh sir 15 lakh is a very nice amount sir i want to purchase this car or even though he do not add this statement i want to purchase the car he is just giving me an offer will you sell this car at rupees 15 lakh to me will you sell this car at rupees 15 lakh to me will you sell this car at rupees 15 lakh to me in this statement will you sell this car at rupees 15 lakh both the condition are fulfilling by this statement he is also showing the willingness that i want to purchase the car that's why i'm asking whether you will sell this car to me yes or no everybody this will amount to an offer yes everybody are you getting my point ladies and gentlemen boys and girls are you getting the point ladies and gentlemen boys and girls yes or no hello now my dear students please try and understand what i am trying to convey to you right now <coughs> Suppose this is Ranganathan Street RS. This is Ranganathan Street, and this is the public place. The public used to do window shopping in this Ranganathan Street. Yes, everybody. So in this Ranganathan Street, there is a dummy, very nice dummy of a female. Female giving a pose like this and a very nice dress female is wearing in the dummy. Very nice dress. Okay. A yellow color, yellow color crop top and a very hot pant that dummy is wearing. Saket found that dress very pretty, very sexy, very hot and Saket is now giving a thought. Let me buy this dress. Let me buy this dress for my girlfriend. He, she will be very happy. Let me buy this dress. So to buy the dress, he went to the shop and the shop name is Sarvanan store. There is one Sarvanan store in the Ranganathan street. I went last time when I came to Chennai. I went to Sarvanan store. So that's in the Sarvanan store, the he, uh, Saket is asking that I like this crop top and the hot pant for my girlfriend. How much amount it will cost to me? The Sarvanan store guy replied that the crop top itself amount to 1500 rupees and the hot pant is 3000 rupees. It's a branded hot pant and the crop top. The total will be 4500 but we will give you a discount of 500 rupees. It will total the pair will cost you 4000 rupees. The pair will cost you 4000 rupees. Saket is telling, no, my girlfriend is not that expensive. Sorry. Okay. I won't buy. My point is the moment Saket asked with the Sarvanan store that how much it will cost to me, whether that will amount to an offer. 
whether that will amount to an offer that how much it will cost to me whether that will amount to an offer no no it will not amount to an offer you are simply asking now the point is my dear let me give you a twist in this case Taket is telling 4000 is very expensive i am a student right now i can't afford 4000 rupees for my girlfriend right now will you please consider my request can you please give me this dress at rupees 3k whether this will amount to an offer whether this will amount to an offer yes because when he say i can't afford 4000 rupees can you please give me this dress at rupees 3000 this is an offer because in this statement the willingness also expressed that he wants to purchase it and along with his showing intention that will you please give me a 3k he is showing an intention to obtain a cent please my dear give me this at 3000 after this my girlfriend will shower lots of love to me some out of that some love i'll shower to you i'll give you blessing hello whether this will amount to an offer the answer is yes ladies and gentlemen boys and girls now my dear student i think you got the better understanding of offer let me give you some more insights of this offer offer can be of two type negative and positive all this offer which we have discussed right now is the positive offer all this offer is to do something is to do something offer can be to abstain something offer can be to abstain something abstain means restraining stopping yourself to do something restraining yourself to do something example I was driving a vehicle, was wearing a helmet, I am having a license, I am driving on the right side, this bullshit guy, Saket, came from the wrong side in the very high speed and our vehicles got banged, our vehicles got banged, I am on the one side of the road. Saket is on the another side of the road, our vehicles in the different side of the road. I stand up and pull the collar of the socket towards me. I like, what is your age? Where do you live? I'll register FIR, I'll, I'll complain regarding you. You are breaching the rule, coming from the outside, coming from the wrong side. Let me take you to the police station. There should be a complaint against you person. Because of you person, the accidents are happening. The lives of the people are in danger. Come on. Come to me to the police station. Now the Saket is requesting. Saket is on the knee. Oh, my dear student, sir. I am your student, sir. Saket, sir. Remember, sir. Academy, sir. K sir, I am that only, sir. Please. I am just like your small brother, sir. Mistake happens, sir. Please forgive me. Now he is giving me an offer, sir, sir, whatever damage, whatever loss happened to your vehicle and whatever loss happened to you, I will get it repaired. And I am like, you will repair me? Well, no, sir, I will pay for the damage of whatever scratches you have got on the hands and whatever, I will do the dressing and all, whatever hospital expense, I will be here, sir. Sir, whatever expense, whatever damage happened to your vehicle, I will be here, sir, I will get it repaired, sir, please, sir. Please don't go to the court, sir. Please go and do, do, go, don't take me to the police station. He is giving me an offer. He is giving me an offer that I'll repair your car, I'll repair your vehicle, I'll repair, I'll give you the hospital expenses. He is giving me negative ex, uh, offer. He is giving me an offer that please accept these expenses and restrain yourself to go to the police station. He is giving me an offer. That I'll get your vehicle repaired. Plus, please don't go to the police station. Please don't take me to the police station. Please stop yourself. Please restrain yourself by going to the police station. He's giving me negative of negative offer. He's giving me an offer not to do something. Before this, we are doing something. We are selling the cloth. We are selling the Mercedes. 
I am getting married with the Neha. All this offer was to do something. This offer is not to do something, to restrain yourself from doing something. Everybody, getting the point. Respected sir, can you please give me permission to turn off my camera for some time? I have to take my tiffin and tablet. Please, if you are sick, please take the tablet, eat the food. So, can I say offer can be negative and offer can be positive? Yes, positive means to do something. Negative means not to do something, to restrain yourself, everybody. Yes or no? So, offer can be positive, offer can be negative and offer is equal to willingness plus intention to obtain assent. Now, my dear student, the person who gives the offer is known as offerer. The person who gives the offer is known as offerer. The person to whom the offer is given is known as offeree. Hello. You can also say the person who is giving the offer is known as proposer. And the person who is accepting the offer is known as acceptor. Yes, everybody. Now, what I am going to taught, teach you right now is again very important. You will get the difference. You will get the difference. Now, let me put an example to, for your better understanding. Please have a look on this. Suppose, suppose, just a moment. Suppose there is one shop, there is a shop. Okay, here is the shop. Shop is of 2000 square feet. This is written out of the shutter. You know the shutter of the shop? Shutter of the shop. On the shutter of the shop, there is a banner. In the banner, it is written shop 2000 square feet available for rent. Available for rent. Available for rent. Interested party. Interested party. May contact. Interested party may contact. Now the contact number is given. 6262621438. This is my number. Yeah, actually my office number actually. Okay. Also, website is also given. Arjun Chabra tutorial .com. Yeah, this is the real website. Like this is the name of the my organization Arjun Chabra tutorial actually. So Arjun Chabra tutorial website name is given. Instagram handle is given. Facebook handle is given. Okay, like the CS Arjun Chabra. Like you may contact in any of the any of the things you may contact for this rent available. Okay, everybody. Now the point is my dear students, there is a banner on the outside of the shop, that shop available for rent 2000 square feet, available for rent, interested party may contract on this, 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 these sources are available for the contact, okay. Now my point is whether this will amount to an offer, whether this will amount to an offer. Kirti is telling yes, this will amount to an offer, Tony is telling no, okay. Now, to answer, to correct Tony and to also correct K. Bharat, to correct Tony and also to correct K. Bharat, my dear, I want to let you remember the equation of the offer is willingness plus intention to obtain. Okay. In this case, there is only thing we can assume is the willingness that the landlord wants to let this shop on rent. That's it. Whether there is something which shows you there is intention to obtain assent also. Whether there is something which shows you intention to obtain assent. Hello, everybody. In this case, where is the intention part? Where is the intention to obtain assent part? The party is simply expressing the willingness that the, that the shop is available for rent. Interested party may contact. I can assume there is a willingness. There is willingness. But where is intention to obtain assent? Where is intention? 
वेर इज इंटेंशन टू ऑप्टेन असेंट यस और नो इज देर इंटेंशन ऑप्टेन असेंट नो बडी इज टेकिंग योर असेंट नो बडी इज टेकिंग योर असेंट The party simply is showing that the shop is available for rent. Party is simply expressing his willingness that I want to let this shop on rent. This is a mere willingness. That's it. If on this case I am asking Saket, Saket, will you take this shop on rent? It will amount to an offer. Yes. But here there is only willingness. that the shop is available for rent interested party may contact everybody interested party may contact so why this will not amount to an offer because sir in this case there is only mere statement of willingness mere statement of intention that the party want to give this shop on rent but the party is not taking assent sir that will you purchase will you purchase will you buy uh, will you take this under the this intention is missing to take assent are you agree with me Are you agree with me? Are you agree with me, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Please let me know. <coughs> now, 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 this this girl Mohana Priya T. This girl contacted on this number. This girl contacted on this number six two six two six two one four three eight, or she messaged me on the Instagram handle C S Arjun Chabra. He she took a photo of the this banner, and and he she she sent me on the Instagram handle D M that sir, I found this banner out of the shop. I am interested to take this shop on rent. my budget is rupees 15000 per month can you please let me this shop at rupees 15000 whether this will amount to an offer whether this will amount to an offer the answer is yes the opposite party is also expressing his willingness that i want to buy i want to take this on rent and also obtaining assent will you please give me this shop on rent for rupees 15000 yes or no everybody getting the point this will amount to an offer so i mean to say is mohana mohana priya is giving an offer what i have given i have given invitation to offer what i have given invitation to offer by this banner by this banner i am inviting people that the interested party may contact me i am inviting you give me an offer i am inviting everybody you give me an offer i am inviting i am inviting that the shop is available for rent the interested party please contact and give me an offer at what amount you will buy my at what amount you will buy my you will take my shop at rent everybody so who gave an offer the interested party gave an offer that my budget is 15000 will you please give this shop at rupees 15000 this is an offer but what i have given i have given an invitation to offer yes everybody are you getting my point are you getting my point everybody now can i please give you one case study so that you can answer so that i can test whether your concept is clear or not can i please give you a case study now please have a focus on the case study the case study is like this everybody focus on the screen i am the auctioner i am the auctioner auctioner means a person who used to auction the things the immovable property the goods people come there bids there that i'll purchase this goods for this amount for this amount for this amount yes everybody for suppose there is a expensive diamond there is expensive diamond on my on my platform there is a expensive diamond which is very rare only 3 only 3 in whole world and one of such diamond is with me regarding this diamond i am making an advertisement i am making an advertisement that i am having a very rare diamond in my platform 
which is only three in the whole world interested party may join the auction the auction will happen on 26th jan from 11 am onwards the interested party may join the auction now each and every one of you read the advertisement oh my goodness very rare diamond all you are big shot people having a billions of money in your account you all are going to the auction from 11 am and the auction starts from the 11 am the auctioner is saying auctioners auction begins now the people can bid okay now this socket is bidding this socket is bidding 1 crore 1 crore now me as an auctioner announcing 1 crore 1 1 crore 2 before i say 1 crore 3 mohana priya came mohana is saying 1.5 crore now again 1.5 crore 1, 1.5 crore 2, 1.5 crore 3. Sara sir came into picture. 10 crores. The big short people came. Yes. Who is else there? I am here. 10 crore rupees. Okay. Now 10 crore 1, 10 crore 2, 10 crore 3. Rajni Kant came into picture. 15 crores. Rajni Kant came into picture. 15 crores. My point is, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please let me know what the auctioner has done and what this people has done. Please categorize between invitation to offer and offer. Who is giving offer? Who is giving invitation to offer? Auctioner is giving invitation to offer. How? How? How he, has, he gave invitation to offer? How he gave an invitation to offer? How? What was the means? Of giving an invitation through advertisement exactly through advertisement he invited people to come and bid and who is giving an offer who is giving an offer <coughs> who is giving an offer this people is giving an offer Saket Mohan Sara Sara sir and Rajni Kant yes all these people are giving an offer. All these people are giving an offer by way of bid. By way of bid. They are giving an offer by way of bid. Yes, everybody. Sir, is willingness and invitation to offer is almost same? It will depend on the facts of the case. You are just getting confused. Don't think much about the willingness and all. Please focus on the facts and circumstances. In each facts and circumstances, the case will be different. You have to use your common sense. You have to use your common sense. Okay. So, these people are making offer and these people are giving invitation. Yes, everybody. Yes, everybody. Now, I am giving you the last example. I am giving you the last example so that you can understand. And after that, I will throw the case study on you. So, that I can see whether you are able to understand the concept or not. The last case study. The last case study. The last case study is like this. I am having an organization Arjun Chabra tutorial. And you guys are in 12th standard. Okay. You are giving your exam in the school or college. So, me being an organization, Arjun Chabra Tutorial, I used to teach to all the professions, CA, CS and CMA. I also used to teach to the LLB students. I also teach to the LLM students and I also teach to the judiciary students. Complete diversified wing I am having. Okay. So, just for the sake of promotion, I know after 12th, the commerce student usually do CA, CS, CMA or LLB or BCom etc. I distributed... I arranged distribution of pamphlets, brochure you can say, brochure or pamphlets, brochure or pamphlets, you are coming out, 
you are coming out from the school or college after giving an examination the last day of the examination and i am distributing the pamphlets of arjun chabra tutorial in those pamphlet is it written that act act provide coaching classes for ca cs cma all the levels and here are the photos of the rank holders who just got ranked by studying in our academy i just for the sake of promotion distributed a pamphlet to all those people so just you are giving your 12th 12th examination after that you may think for cscs cma yes everybody and there is also a contact number in this that you may contact you may inquire on this after having a look on the pamphlet you got impressed very nice institution very nice institution you directly came to the location of the organization along with your father and mother along with your father and mother father is asking that my son wants to do ca whether you guys teach all foundation inter final what are the ranks what are the numbers after doing an inquiry father father is asking that i want to father is asking that i want to admit i want to admit my son into your organization act for ca course yes please categorize what is offer what is an invitation to offer in this example please categorize what is an offer and what is an invitation to offer invitation to offer by the way of pamphlet yes and offer where is offer where is offer where is offer now where the father is applying father is giving an application that i want to admit my son to your organization i am giving an application so this application is an offer the moment we will take the admission of the son and give the receipt okay this 20000 is paid by you now your son your son has to come from the tomorrow onwards this is the acceptance yes or no the college is offering a course of bcom bba mba you are applying for the bba course your application for the bba course is offer the pamphlet distributed by college is invitation to offer if the college people is giving you an admission this is an acceptance and that will the uh, at, at that very particular moment the contract will come into picture yes everybody now i am giving you last sum of the question if you can answer this question it means your concept of offer and invitation to offer is up to the mark okay now please have a look for suppose this is a supermarket i am giving you a disclaimer i am giving you one hint the disclaimer is please understand the case study very carefully and you have to answer by using your common sense whatever i have just told taught you don't go with the flow don't take the things personal you have to use your common sense you have to stick to the law by answering this question so this is the supermarket the supermarket owner is here the counter is here arjun is standing here arjun is here i am standing here here are the goods all the goods are lying here lying here 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 all all goods all the goods are there okay so one of this girl mohana priya came mohana priya came and uh, took one trolley and all he is putting all the stuffs in the trolley whatever whatever uh, whatever goods he wants bread butter face wash shampoo dishwasher all the eatable provisions and now he came to me now he came to me that i want all this stuffs that i want all this stuffs me being the owner of the supermarket being the owner of the supermarket so whatever stuff was there shampoo eatables dishwasher okay everything was there 
there was one shampoo shampoo of ori flame company i kept this aside i kept it aside and i am telling that mr uh, my dear mohana priya i can't sell this to you you can take this this but this is not sellable i can't give it to you i can't sell this to you now mohana priya is telling i want this i want this the point is my dear student the point is my dear student the point is my dear student here whether me as a owner of the super supermarket whether i am compelled to sell this ori flame face wash whether i am compelled to sell this ori flame face wash whether i am compelled see i am telling i can sell you this i can sell you this but i won't sell you this the point is mohana is telling no i want this ori flame shampoo you have to say you have to sell it by displaying all these goods on your supermarket you have gave me an offer you gave me an offer and by selecting all these things i am giving my acceptance the contract is in picture you have you are bound to sell me this ori flame face wash i want to take this my point is whether i am compelled to sell that face wash also please tell me whether i am compelled to sell this face wash also whether i am compelled now please let first of all before moving to the answer first of all before moving to the answer you please let me know you please let me know whether by displaying goods on the supermarket it was an offer whether displaying goods on the supermarket whether it was an offer which was telling yes which was telling yes because which is intoxicated by weed a lot of weed he has just smoked right now so it is out of his senses okay because by clearly by clearly in the loud was i have told you offer is equal to willingness plus intention to obtain assent by displaying the goods on my supermarket i am just expressing my willingness that i want to sell this whether i am standing there oh please come i want to sell this i want to sell this will you buy no by displaying the things on my supermarket i am inviting people please come take this goods and give me an offer that i want to buy this will you sell this to me it is similar to auction there are n number of products are there in the auction you are giving the offer i want to buy this product at this rate by displaying my goods in the supermarket i am merely giving an invitation to the public please come to my supermarket take the goods come to my counter and give me an offer that i want to buy this goods i am just inviting you all you guys are giving me an offer that i want to this i want to buy this i want to buy that i want to buy that and it is my choice it is my choice whether to accept your offer or not i am not accepting your offer for this ori flame i don't want to sell this ori flame face wash i will sell you only this i am accepting your offer for this getting my point ladies and gentlemen boys and girls are you getting my point ladies and gentlemen please stick to the provision don't take the things personal from the point of view of the definition of offer and invitation to offer offer amounts to willingness plus intention to obtain assent by displaying the goods by displaying the goods on the shop whether i am obtaining assent of your party whether you want to buy this or not i'm just merely displaying the goods everybody so it was a mere willingness you are coming you are taking the goods and you are giving an offer that i want to buy this i am not compelled to accept your offer i am giving you another example mohana priya was passing from nagnathan street the same dummy was there the same crop top yellow crop top hot pant there was a price tag in the crop top and the hot pant itself that the crop top is for 1500 and the hot pant is for 3000 mrp was given there 
MRP was given there. This girl liked the dress very much. Rush to the counter, Sarvanan store. Keep this 4500 rupees and give me the dress. That Sarvanan store is telling that the, that the dress is not saleable. That the dress is only for the displaying purpose. For the promotional purpose. We have a different color of crop top. We have a different uh, hot pant. But we can't sell that yellow color crop top and hot pant. Now Mohana Priya is selling. No, I want that only. Otherwise, I'll sue you. You have made an offer by displaying those things. The question is whether Mohana Priya can sue the shopkeeper, whether the shopkeeper is compelled to sell that. No. Because by displaying the goods on the dummy, the shopkeeper is merely inviting the people that you give me an offer. I want to purchase this like, like Saket given that my dear sir, 4500 is very expensive for me. Can you please give me this dress at rupees 3000? The people is inviting you. You are giving an offer. They are not compelled to sell you. They are not giving an offer. They are giving an invitation to offer. You are giving an offer. Yes, everybody. So, whether the supermarket and the Sarvanan store people are compelled to sold this dress or the stuffs for face wash, whether they are compelled, <coughs> whether they are compelled, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the answer is no. It's their choice. It is their choice. You got the point, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Everybody got the point. Another example, last example for the offer and invitation to offer so that you guys can get a better clarity. There was a bookshop. Bookshop, very nice bookshop. Every book you can find it there. From the bookshelf, one of the book was very good. Written by Chetan Bhagat. Saket liked the book cover page. Saket liked the book's cover page. He took the book from the bookshelf and rushed to the counter. See, I want this very rare book here. Not available in the market very easily. I want to, I want to purchase this book. The shopkeeper is telling, sir, one of the customer already paid for this book in advance, sir. The book is already sold, sir. It was only for the display purpose. The book, the book is already sold, sir. I can't, I can't sell this. Sir, another book will come. Another stock will come. I'll inform you, sir. But I can't sell this book. Now, Sakyat is telling, no, why you have displayed? By displaying, you have given an offer. I am accepting this. You are compelled to sell. Whether the shopkeeper is compelled to sell that book? The answer is no. It was a mere invitation to offer. You are coming and giving an offer. I want to buy this book. Please accept my offer. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Everybody. Getting the point. Last example. It's the age of my marriage right now. And I'm not joking. I'll marry soon. By your blessings. Okay. So my parents are concerned for my partner. My parents are concerned for my partner that uh, Arjun may get a very nice partner. Okay. Maybe from the same profession, CS, LLB, like this. So they can get a better understanding. Best wishes, sir. See, Neha is only an imaginary, imaginary character in my life, Saket. There is no Neha in my life, in my actual life. There are some people in my life, but definitely she is not Neha. Okay. So, and if I am telling there is somebody in my life, definitely that somebody is not my girlfriend. There are some called close friends, so called best friends, you know. I am single right now. So, if there is anybody from, if there is anyone from your side, your elder sister or something, who is who belong to the same profession, I am ready to consider. Okay. Yeah. Now, please have a look on the example. Sir, I want your permission to allow me to switch off camera for my breakfast. Yes, you can have breakfast. Now, please have a look on this. So, on the local newspaper, I, I, I born and brought up in Chhattisgarh, but I am settled in Pune, Maharashtra. So, my parents gave a advertisement on the newspaper. You know, there is one matrimony section on the advertisement in the newspaper. 
सो माई पेरेंट्स एडवर्टाइज इन द टू स्टेट्स न्यूज पेपर वन इन द महाराष्ट्र वन इन द वन इन द छत्तीसगढ़ न्यूज पेपर दैट ब्यूटिफुल बॉय और द यू कैन से हैंडसम बॉय और हैंडसम बॉय लुकिंग फॉर द ब्राइड ओके लुकिंग फॉर द ब्राइड एंड माई क्वालिफिकेशन इज गिवेन दट द गाय सी एस एल एल बी एल एल एम करेंटली वर्किंग इन दिस 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 ऑर्गेनाइजेशन अर्निंग दिस 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 अमाउंट लुकिंग फॉर अ फेयर एजुकेटेड फाइव पॉइंट फाइव इंच और अबाउ गर्ल हाइट ऑल द ऑल द रिक्वायरमेंट्स आर गिवेन इंटरेस्टेड पार्टी मे कॉन्टेक्ट माई पेरेंट्स नंबर आज गिवेन हियर माई पेरेंट्स नंबर आर गिवेन हियर ओके What is this? What is this? Offer, invitation to offer. Offer or invitation to offer. Invitation to offer. Yes, sir, one and you can do it. Now, the daughter's parent is saying, "Oh, the boy is qualified. Nice guy. Let us have a contact." So they called me, my parents. That I, we have seen your advertisement. Our girl will also. is doing llb and currently he is pursuing llm from the university of london he will come uh, she will come back in this month only if you will say we can have a meeting so they are giving me an offer they are giving me an offer so finally they will come we will sit and by your blessing and all i can enjoy my happy married life it's a future in future right so this this by this it will go invitation to offer and offer you got the things everybody yes now let us read the provision first let us because we are just discussing in the simple language let us have a look on the bare language this is the bare language so the offer is defined in section 2 clause a offer is defined in section 2 clause a so offer means what when one person expresses to another when one person expresses to another his willingness to do to do means a positive act or to abstain means a negative act from doing anything negative act with the intention by expressing with the intention to obtain assent of the other party for such act or abstinence is known as offer yes everybody and the equation is given willingness plus intention to obtain assent is equal to offer yes everybody you got the point essentials kya offerer offeree promiser promisee proposer acceptor party must express his willingness to do or not to do something offer may be positive negative offer may be made with the intention to obtain assent yes everybody hello you got the point this is the offer now all the question which i have just all the case study which i have just asked you let me show you something for your better understanding uh, you have to you have to ask for the notes from the management my dear student you have to ask for the notes from the management for the bull sai notes i am showing you some of the question from the bull sai notes have you asked for the hard copy of that bull sai notes saket you are asking for the abstain and abstinence from restraining something stopping something please have a look ladies and gentlemen boys and girls <clears throat> a shopkeeper displayed a pair of dress a shopkeeper displayed a pair of dress in the showroom and a price tag of rupees 2000 was attached to the dress miss lovely looked to the tag and rushed to the cash counter just like a mohana priya rush to the sarvanand store here mrs lovely is rushing to the store okay then she asked the shopkeeper to receive the payment and pack up the dress the shopkeeper refused to hand over the dress to mrs lovely in consideration of the price stated in the price tag attached to the mrs lovely seeks your advice whether she can sue the shopkeeper for the above cause under the indian contract at 1872 whether lovely can sue the answer is absolutely no Break. I'll be giving on ten thirty. I'll be giving the break on ten thirty, my dear student. 
टेन थर्टी नाउ प्लीज हैव अ लुक द डिफरेंस बिटवीन ऑफर एंड इन्विटेशन टू ऑफर दिस नोट यू हैव टू आस्क फ्रॉम द मैनेजमेंट द हार्ड कॉपी विल बी गिवन टू यू फ्रॉम द मैनेजमेंट ओके सो द ऑफर इज वेर अ पर्सन शोज इज विलिंगनेस टू इंटर इन टू अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इज कॉल्ड एन ऑफर वेर अ पर्सन इन्वाइट्स अदर टू मेक एन ऑफर इट इज कॉल्ड एन इन्विटेशन टू ऑफर पर्पज इज वॉट एन ऑफर इज मेड बाई अ पर्सन विद द पर्पज ऑफ एंटरिंग इन टू अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट द पर्पज ऑफ मेकिंग एन इन्विटेशन टू ऑफर इज टू रिसीव द ऑफर्स और टू नेगोशिएट द टर्म्स ऑन विच द पर्सन मेकिंग एन इन्विटेशन इज विलिंग टू कॉन्ट्रैक्ट द डिस्प्ले ऑफ आर्टिकल विथ अ प्राइज इन इट अ सेल्फ सर्विस शॉप इज मियरली एन इन्विटेशन टू ऑफर इट इज नो इन नो सेंस एन ऑफर द एक्सेप्टेंस ऑफ विच कॉन्स्टिट्यूट अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट द कंक्लूजन In this case, Mrs. Lovely, by selecting the dress and approaching the shopkeeper for payment, simply made an offer to buy the dress selected by her. If the shopkeeper does not accept the price, the interested buyer cannot compel him to sell. Yes, everybody. <coughs> Rest all the question I have covered in the case study. It is just for the sake of your clarity. Let me come back. Let me come back. and teach you kinds of offer let me come back and teach you kinds are you are uh, are you guys aware of this concept offer and invitation to offer done with this yes everybody okay so i'll be giving you break on 10:30 okay i'll be giving you the break on 10:30 i'll also have a breakfast on 10:30 can you please allow me 2 minutes so i can call my mother that she will bring a breakfast on 10:30 okay so till that you may go to the loo and all just give me 2 minutes because at 10:30 i'll give you the break okay just 2 minutes मम्मी हाँ हेलो साढ़े दस बजे दूंगा ब्रेक क्या हो गया तेरी आवाज को हाँ जी Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my breakfast is also coming. I'm very hungry. Even though I'm not hungry, I still want to eat to get some energy to teach you guys. Santosh Kumar is on sitting on the earth. Can you see the Santosh Kumar? He's sitting on the earth. Santosh Kumar is having a background of earth. Yeah. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, offer kinds of offer kinds of offer. now what do you mean by this kinds of offer how many types of offer are there one is general offer which is given to public at large i'll tell you one case study regarding this the case study is just given below carlil versus carbolic smoke ball company carlil versus carbolic smoke ball company it was the case law of uk this carbolic smoke ball company is a pharmaceutical company and this pharmaceutical company make a one ball a smoke ball it is not like any intoxicated thing it is a pharmaceutical product just like a vix inhaler you know the vix inhaler you inhale it when the nose got blocked so this pharmaceutical company made one smoke ball and that pharmaceutical company that carbolic smoke ball company claimed in the newspaper that just like covid is running right now there was one flu running to the usa once upon a time the the name of the flu is the influenza the name of the flu was influenza just like a covid running in this era at that time there was one flu called influenza influenza you have, you got lots of cough on your chest your nose got blocked you will you will be getting high fever etc 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 so that was the symptoms of the influenza at that time 
So the carbolic smoke ball company invented one smoke ball. You have to just smoke it as per the given direction by the carbolic smoke ball company and they advertised it that we have invented a smoke ball. You people purchase this smoke ball and consume this smoke ball as per the direction given by the company. You will be never ever get affected by the influenza. And if by consuming this smoke ball by according to the given direction, if you people encountered influenza on your body, the company will give you a reward of rupees 100 pounds. Give it, getting the point? They are claiming something. They are claiming something that you have to use this smoke ball as per the given direction. Use the smoke ball as per the given direction. You will not contact the influenza. You will not get affected by the influenza. And if you get infected by influenza, we will give you 100 pound rupees as a price. As a price. They are showing the confidence. They are showing the confidence of the product. So one girl, one girl called Carlin. Carlil bought the smoke ball, smoked the, consumed the smoke ball as per the given direction and after doing that also, he got the symptoms, she got the symptoms of the influenza and now she is claiming 100 pounds as a reward. Now the company is telling, we will not give you the reward because, because you haven't told us, you haven't communicated us that you are purchasing the smoke ball and you will use that as per the given direction and if you will encounter the influenza you will ask for 100 pound so just because you haven't communicated this we are not liable to pay you 100 pound the judgment was the judgment was in case of general offer general offer is made to public at large in case of general offer there is no need to communicate acceptance the only thing which is required the condition is Buy the smoke ball, consume it as per given direction. If Carlis bought the Carlil bought the smoke ball and consumed as per the given direction, if Carlis fulfilling the condition of the offer, it is deemed acceptance. There is no need to communicate in case of general offer. There is no need to communicate the acceptance in case of general offer. The smoke ball company needs to pay hundred pound as a price. Yes, everybody. Because the general offer is an offer made to public at large. Anyone can accept the offer by fulfilling the condition. So the decision was anyone performing the condition of offer can be said to have accepted the offer until the offer is withdrawn. Yes, everybody. Yes, everybody. You got the point. Specific offer. Specific offer. Specific offer when offer is made to specific person. Now you tell me. I am giving an offer to specific person or specific group of person, a certain person. I am telling to this batch. I am promising to this batch. Whoever, whoever will bring 75 plus marks in this subject, business laws and business correspondence and reporting, I will gift them iPhone 13 Max Pro. Everybody, everybody, I am promising. Somebody is asking, really? No, imaginary. Okay. The point is, the point is, the point is whether there is a general offer or a specific offer. Whether it is a general offer or a specific offer. Whether it is a general offer or a specific offer. Somebody is telling general offer. It is not a general offer my dear. General offer is an offer which is made to public at large. You, you are not public. You are a specific group of person. A CA foundation batch. And this batch May 2022. We have two batch of May 2022. One is concluded earlier which I took in the face to face class. This is another batch. So I am promising to this May 2022 batch for suppose the earlier batch which was of around 600 student. One of the student, uh, one of the students score 80 marks and asking me sir you have uh, told that uh, uh, you will give the iPhone. I will say I have promised this I will give this to this batch the second number batch. 
The offer was made to the specific person of this batch, not of the earlier batch. Getting my point, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Are you getting the point, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everybody? And now when I am specifically telling that Mohana Priya, Mohana Priya, if you will score 80 plus in the business correspondence reporting and business loss paper, I will give you an iPad. Now, Saket scored 90 marks and asking, I won't give Saket an iPad because the offer was a specific person, offer was given to specific person Mohana Priya. Earlier I was given, I have given the offer to the complete batch. Now I am giving an offer to the specific person. So when offer is made to specific person or a certain person, it can be accepted only by the person to whom the offer is made. Yes, everybody. You got the point. Now cross offer. Before reading this cross offer, I want to tell you guys, the concept is not practically possible right now. Can you please tell me we are reading which act? The act came into picture in which year? The act came into picture in which year? 1872? Yes? Assume that we are in the 1872. We are living in the 1872. Because if you will learn this concept considering yourself that you are living in 2022, you won't get the practicality of the concept because practically this concept is not possible in 2022. In 2022, it is not possible. What this concept is telling, please understand. Assume yourself that you are in 1872. Assume. Imagine you are in 1872. Currently, we are in the 2022. Though this is possible that by sitting at your home, you can uh, take the classes. In 1872, there was no communication. There was not even a telephone. There not even mobile. The people used to communicate through letter, post, speed, post, telegram. There was no instant communication. Assume yourself that you are in 1872. I am writing a letter to Saket. Saket is living in Chennai. I am living in Chhattisgarh. That Saket, I want to sell my house to 2,000 square feet. Will you purchase my house for rupees? 5,000 rupees. 5,000 rupees was very big amount at that time. I wrote a letter on 1st January. On 1st January. Okay. On 2nd January, from nowhere, Saket, from nowhere, Saket got uh, an idea that I should purchase a house. Once upon a time when I met Arjun, Arjun was saying me that uh, he will sell one day, one fine day he will sell the house. On 2nd January, Saket is also giving me an offer. <clears throat> But whether Arjun sir, dear Arjun sir, once upon a time you have told me that you will sell your house. Today I want to buy your house for rupees 5000. Now can you please imagine, I have given the same offer on 1st January. He is giving me the same offer on 2nd January. We both are unaware that both are unaware that we are offering. Whether this situation will can happen today, impossible. This situation cannot happen today. So this was the concept invented in 1872. Read the provision. When two parties exchange identical offer, identical, exactly same. I have also given for 5000. He has also given for 5000. Exactly same. No difference even in amount. In ignorance of time of each other, I have made offer on 1st January. But he is unaware because there was no channel of communication. He made an offer on 2nd January. I was not aware because there was no channel of communication. In ignorance of time of each other, no contract comes into picture. Why? Contract comes into picture when there is offer from one side and acceptance from one side. Here is the offer, offer only. Cross offer. This term is known as cross offer. Cross offer. There can be no contract in this case because there is no acceptance. Getting the point, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Now suppose, suppose only I made an offer. There is no offer from the side of Saket. On 1st January, I made an offer to the Saket by way of post. That will you purchase my house for 5000 rupees. By receiving the letter, Saket is replying 5000 is very expensive. 
I'll purchase this house for 4500. This is known as counter offer. This is known as counter offer. The original offer of 5000 will get reward at the moment when he made the counter offer. This is known as counter offer. This is counter offer. When a person to whom offer is made accepts the offer by modifying the terms and condition. I was telling 5000. He modified the terms. Well, 4500 only. It is also known as conditional acceptance. What condition? I will accept your offer. But at rupees 4500, not at 5000. It is also known as conditional of acceptance. Yes, everybody. Now, again, the standing offer or continuing offer or open offer, this is same as public offer, which remained open over a period of time. Standing, continuing, open, similar to the public offer. Yes, everybody. Yes, everybody. Now, as per my experience, as per my analysis, this kinds of offer is not relevant from the exam point of view. It is relevant from for, for your knowledge point of view because anybody can answer this type of question. If institute is going to ask what is the kinds of offer, anybody can answer general offer, public to other. This is not relevant from the exam point of view. What is relevant? Offer. Definition of offer is important. Section 2A is important. This is important. Essentials of a valid offer is important. Essentials of a valid offer is important, which we will start after the break at 10.45 am. You guys want a break or not? You guys want break? You guys want break or not? Everybody? You want? Yes. Mohana Priya is saying, yes, yes, sir. Eagerly waiting for break, sir. Eagerly waiting, sir. Yeah. So, at 10.45 am, we will start with the essentials of valid offer and this is also important. So, what is important is offer is important, types of offer is not important, but essentials of a valid offer is important, okay. We will meet soon at 10.45 am, okay. Okay. Uh, K. Bharat, there is nothing, no slide of counter offer. There is no slide of counter offer. This is the only one. We will meet at 10.45 am. Thank you so much.
Yes, everybody. Audible visit. Mic testing one two three one two three audible yeah yeah audible audible okay okay mic testing one two three one two three okay let us start with the essentials I want each and everybody's camera should be on each and everybody's camera should be on. let us start with the essentials. Must be present. Hello, hello. Audible, 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 everybody, audible. Yeah. Audible? Yes. So, whatever condition we are learning right now, each and every condition must be present. Each and every condition must be present in the offer. We are learning essentials of the offer. Each and every condition must be present. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. These are the essentials. Essentials means if all the conditions are present, if all the conditions are present in the offer, the offer will be a valid offer. If any of the condition, if any of the condition is not present, if any of the condition is not present, your offer is not a valid offer. It will not be regarded as offer in the eyes of the Indian Contract Act 1872. Yes, everybody. In the eyes of 1872, Contract Act 1872, it will not amount to an offer. Just a moment, guys. Hello. There is some issue, I guess, in the mic. Yeah. If I keep, if I'm keeping the mic in my, uh, before my mouth is working perfectly, if I am keeping like this, if I'm keeping like this, the voice is low, right? The voice is good or voice is low? Good. Little low. Just a moment. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, mic testing. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Hello, 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 hello. Yes, everybody. Yes, everybody. <clears throat> now the mic is working perfectly, I guess. Audible? Audible? It's perfect now? Or I should change the battery? Or I should change the battery of the mic? I guess now perfect? Okay. So, essentials of a valid offer. Essentials of valid offer, each condition should be present. The first condition. The offer must be capable of creating legal obligation. Here, legal obligation means legal relationship. We have used this term in the case of intention to create legal relationship. For suppose, example, if I am making an offer that I am launching a CA Foundation batch, May 2022, business law syllabus will be get concluded within two months at a price of rupees 3000. It's a commercial agreement, yes or no? It's a commercial agreement. Whether this offer is capable of creating legal relationship. Legal relationship means whether this offer has the ingredients 
that if tomorrow by making a promise and taking your amount, I'm not fulfilling your promise, you may sue me, yes or no? You may sue me. So, the commercial agreement which we are entering is having the ingredients, is having the ingredients that if tomorrow I am not fulfilling my promise, you guys can sue me. It's having ingredients. It means offer is capable of creating legal obligations. The offer is capable of creating intentions of legal relationship, which we have already covered in the intention to create legal relationship chapter. Topic, sorry. This also we have covered. The offer must be certain, definite and not vague. If you remember, <coughs> if you remember, I have given the example of house that my that my I am having three house. I am having three house. I am having three house in Chennai. One is in T Nagar, one is in Ragnathan Street, one is in Arya Gowda Road. And I am telling that Saket, if you will you purchase my house located in Chennai, whether this is a valid offer. Whether this is a valid offer, the answer is no. Because which house you are referring, which home you are referring? If I say that in Chennai, I am offering you to sell my house in Tinagar, whether this is a valid offer, no, still not complete, not definite, definite means it's not complete. Now, if I say, if I want to sell my house located in Chennai, Tinagar, Gulmohar Society, will you purchase my house? Again, the offer is not complete. When I say, Will you purchase my house located in Chennai, T Nagar, Gulmohar Society, flat number 6, 2 BHK, flat number 616, hello, still not clear. Now when I say, will you purchase my house located in T Nagar, Gulmohar Society, floor number 6, flat number 616. 200 square feet at rupees 20 lakh rupees. Now the offer is clear, definite, complete and not vague. Yes, everybody. Yes. Are you getting my point? Okay. The third one is communicated to the offeree. Communicated to the offeree. This is a very logical point that if you are giving an offer, you should communicate your offer to the offeree. How the offeree will come to know about your offer if you are not communicating? This is the third very simple point. Now, in the third point, there is a very beautiful case, Lalman Shukla versus Gauri. That what happened in this case is, Lalman Shukla is a, actually a servant of the Gauri Dutt. Lalman Shukla is actually a servant and Gauri Dutt is actually a master. Principal, you can say. So, the knees of the principal, the knees, knees, knees of the principal got lost. So, the knees of the principal asked the Lalman Shukla, a servant, asked Lalman Shukla, a servant, that go search for my knees. Where is my knees? Search for it. Search for him. So, the Lalman Shukla went to search the knees of Gauridat. Day passed, evening passed. Now, the Gauridat is afraid. Where, the, my, where is my knees? Even the Lalman Shukla is not able to find it out. So, out of fear, Gauridat, out of fear, Gauridat announced a prize of rupees 5,000 that whoever will found my knees, whoever will found my knees and bring it back to me, I will pay him a reward of rupees 5,000. The Lalman Shukla was unaware of this offer because the Lalman Shukla was went earlier before making of this offer. Because Lalman Shukla went before the offer is made by Gauridat. Now Lalman Shukla got the knees, found the knees and handed it over back to the Gauridat. Even still, the Lalman Shukla is unaware that the price, that the price amount of 5000 has been announced. One idiot, I don't know one idiot named Wish, Wish is typing knees like this. My dear knees means like this, knees. Somebody is asking me in the chat, knees means like this knees. Yeah. 
सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट द पॉइंट इज द पॉइंट इज नाउ द लाल मैन शुक्ला द लाल मैन शुक्ला इज आस्किंग द लाल मैन शुक्ला इज आस्किंग फॉर फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज आफ्टर हैंडिंग इट ओवर दट आफ्टर हैंडिंग इट ओवर नीस टू द गौरी दत्त now the gauri that is saying which offer you are asking about you are not aware of that offer you are not eligible for the prize amount so the decision was that only the decision was that only acceptance of an offer in ignorance of offer is no acceptance you are unaware about the offer you were unaware of the offer yes everybody you were unaware about the offer you were not knowing about the offer you if you are not knowing about the offer how you can accept it and the offer got over the moment you handed over the niece to the gauri that offer at that time lapsed yes everybody hello are you getting my point offer must be made with the intention to obtain assent this is already covered it may be conditional now what do you mean by it may be conditional conditional means for suppose i am telling that uh, saket i want to sell my car to you but the only condition is you have to pay me the amount you have to pay me the amount by net banking i'll not accept the cash i'll not accept the cash payment the only condition for accepting the offer that i want the money through banking channel either i want through check or either i want through online transaction okay either i want through check or even i want through banking channel this is the condition this is known as the conditional offer if you are accepting this condition okay i'll make the payment through banking channel then the then it can be termed that the offer is acceptance the offer may be conditional the sixth one is little tricky the sixth one is little tricky please have a look offer should not contain a term the non compliance of which amount to acceptance but before starting this i guess i have to change the battery of the mic the voice is not coming proper it's lap it is lapping you give me just 2 minute let me uh, let me change the battery of the mic okay just 2 minute yes everybody are you able to listen me audible visible even after changing the mic the voice is not up to the mark i guess in even after changing the mic hello 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 mic testing audible visible audible ladies and gentlemen boys and girls audible visible hello 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 mic testing 1 2 3 1 2 3 let me increase the volume hello 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 yeah it's audible actually but it's not coming up to the mark i guess it is audible i know हेलो 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 ऑडिबल ओके ओके प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दिस पॉइंट प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दिस पॉइंट ऑफर शुड नॉट कंटेन अ टर्म नॉन कंप्लायस ऑफ विच अमाउंट टू एक्सेप्टेंस प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दिस टर्म 
Offer should not contain a term or non-compliance of which amount to acceptance. Savan, what happened to you? Everything is okay? Savan is like, my girlfriend left me. What happened to you? Huh? Everything is okay? Yeah, okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, offer should not contain a term, the non-compliance of which amount to acceptance. Please understand this thing. Suppose, uh, my voice is audible now. It's not breaking. It's not uh, like it's not uh, like uh, hampering your ear, right? It's absolutely good. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Now please try and understand. I'm giving you one case study. For suppose I'm having iPad Air, sorry, iPad Pro. I'm having iPad Pro. Now I'm making an offer. I'm making an offer to Divya Shri. I'm making an offer to. Divya Shri, the Divya Shri, I want to sell my iPad Pro at rupees 15,000. For suppose example, at rupees 15,000, I want to sell my iPad Pro. On condition, on condition, you have to give acceptance, offer valid for 7 days. Offer valid for 7 days. Okay. Offer valid for 7 days. Now, offer is valid for 7 days and making a condition that if you won't accept if you won't accept my offer within 7 days I should correct the statement just a moment. If you won't, if you won't respond or reply to this offer, I will consider it, I will consider it as deemed acceptance. I will consider it as deemed acceptance. Now, please try and focus on the example. The example is I am giving my iPad to Divya Shri. Asking Divya Shri, will you purchase this iPad for 15,000 rupees? Offer is valid for 7 days. It means within 7 days, Divya Shri need to give acceptance. Along with this, I am putting a condition that Divya Shri, if, if you won't accept or respond or reply to this offer, after seven days, I will consider that you have given an acceptance. Whether this condition is logical or illogical. Whether this condition is logical or illogical. Whether this condition is logical or illogical. See, if Divya Shri is not giving an acceptance within seven days, it is logical that she don't want to purchase it. It is logical. But you are doing the opposite. What you are doing the opposite is that if you won't reply within 7 days, after 7 days I will consider that you have accepted the offer. It means you have to give 15,000 rupees and take this iPad. If she don't want to purchase it, if she don't want to purchase it, she is not replying. If, don't, if she don't want to purchase it, she is not replying. Why you are putting this condition that if you won't respond to this offer, we will consider that you have accepted the offer. This is illogical. Now read this point. Offer should not contain a term. And what term we are uh, doing? The term is deemed acceptance. The term is deemed acceptance that we will consider that you have given the acceptance. Offer should not contain a term like this deemed acceptance. Non-compliance of which? What is the non-compliance? If you are not replying within 7 days, you are non-complying. It will amount to an acceptance. This is illogical. This condition should not be present in your offer. Everybody getting the point? Yes or no? Okay. Offer may be specific. Offer may be general. Offer is different from mere statement of intention. We have already discussed. The second is prospectus and advertisement and pamphlets. Prospectus, advertisement and pamphlets. This all are prospectus, advertisement and pamphlets. This all are an invitation to offer but not an offer. Yes, everybody. 
द थर्ड इफ यू आर जस्ट क्वेश्चनिंग यू आर इंक्वायरिंग समथिंग क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर इज नॉट एन ऑफर इन्विटेशन टू ऑफर इज नॉट एन ऑफर इन्विटेशन टू ऑफर इज डिफरेंट एंड ऑफर इज डिफरेंट यस एवरीबडी हेलो माइक टेस्टिंग यस ओके नाउ एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ इन्विटेशन टू ऑफर विच वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड एडवर्टाइजिंग ऑप्शन सेल quotation of price sent in reply to a question display of goods in the window shop this all are invitation to offer these are not offer which we have already discussed now what we are going to learn right now is acceptance offer is done now we are moving to the valid acceptance now please try and understand we are done with the offer offer is important now we are moving to acceptance acceptance is also important and acceptance Sir, enough for today, sir. K. Bharat is telling enough for today. Is it enough for today, everybody? No. Enough for today, yes or no, everybody. At least we can finish this topic. At least we can finish this topic. The acceptance topic we can finish, I guess. Yes, the acceptance topic. At least we can finish. if you allow me one hour i can finish the complete unit only thing is to if you allow me one hour i'll can complete the complete first unit we'll start from the second unit tomorrow what do you say yes even i want to complete and it is very very easy very easy now please try and understand my dear please understand what is important yeah till now what is important offer is important now what we are going to read is the see the definition of the promise is promise is equal to offer plus acceptance we are done with the offer now we are moving to acceptance and acceptance is also defined in section 2 clause b and what is the definition of acceptance the same definition the definition of promise is the definition of acceptance what is the definition of promise promise is equal to offer plus acceptance the same definition is of the acceptance acceptance is equal to offer plus acceptance the same definition is of the acceptance yes everybody so we are skipping the definition of acceptance and now we are directly moving to the legal rules regarding valid acceptance we are done with the offer now we are going to the acceptance yes everyone this is very important topic offer have not asked yet the topic of offer have not been asked by the examiner now but acceptance have been asked acceptance has been asked for two times in the past examination which means institute may skip may institute may skip this in the coming attempt and may ask the offer and institute may continue to ask this question at as well now please focus on this legal rules regarding valid acceptance just we have learned legal rules of the valid offer essential rules of the valid offer similarly we are reading legal rules regarding valid acceptance okay whether i should explain you this acceptance can be given only by the person to whom the offer is made i guess we have already learned this i guess we have already learned this acceptance can be given only by the person to whom the offer is made can i give one case study regarding this can i give you one case study regarding this hello please have a look suppose arjun is having ak47 arjun is having ak47 arjun is offering this ak47 to kirthika k arjun is offering this ak47 to kirthika k for rupees 50000 this guy savan the shy boy okay the savan is standing when I, when i was giving offer to kirtika and savan is telling me that sir if if kirtika will not buy if kirtika will not buy the gun i will buy the gun i will buy the gun <coughs> kritika denied the offer <coughs> kritika denied offer now kritika is denying offer savan came to me giving me 50k on my hand and asking for ak47 now i am telling savan that savan i don't want to sell my gun to you 
Someone is telling me that sir, you are compelled to sell me this gun. Otherwise, I'll sue you. Whether Savan can sue me for the gun? Whether Savan can sue me for this gun? Why? 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 Because the offer was not made to Savan. Exactly. <coughs> offer was not made to him. Can I say, actually in this case, Savan is making me an offer. Can I say this? In this case, actually Savan is making me an offer. It's up to me whether to accept or not. Yes. To whom I made the offer? I made the offer to Kirtika. Kirtika denied the offer. Now actually Savan is making me an offer. That sir, I want to purchase. It is up to me whether to accept the offer of Savan or not. So whether I am bound to accept the offer of Savan or it's my choice. It's my choice. So whether Savan can sue me. So whether Savan can sue me, the answer is no. It's my choice. Now please have a look on the case. This is a very interesting case. Bolton versus Jones. Very interesting case. Bolton versus Jones. The case name is Bolton versus Jones. There was three parties in this case. First is Bolton. Another is Broker Hust. The third one is Jones. The third one is Jones. Now please understand the case study. What happened in this three parties? This guy, this, this one. This Bolton. This Bolton purchased the business. The Bolton purchased the business. Bolton purchased the business of Brokerhurst. So Brokerhurst was running one business of goods. So the Bolton, this guy purchased the business of Brokerhurst. Okay. This is the one scenario. This is the fact number one. Now the fact number two is This Jones, once upon a time, this party Jones has given, has landed some of money to the broker has. It means the broker has was the borrower and the Jones was the creditor. Once upon a time, the Jones has landed some money to the broker has. And the Jones is unaware that the broker has sold the business to Bolton. And the Jones is unaware that the broker has sold the business to the Bolton. So Jones with the intention to recover his money. Jones with the intention to recover the money. Placed an order for the supply of goods. Jones was having an intention already. I have to take some amount of money from the broker. Has either taking back my money. I should order something from the business of the broker. Has the broker has will supply me the goods. And I'll not pay the amount because I have already lended some amount. I will set off it. I will set off it. Getting the concept? I will set off it. Getting the concept? Because I have already given some amount. So instead of taking back my amount, instead of taking my loan amount, I will purchase some goods from the broker host. And I'll set off the amount. I'll set off the amount. Getting the point? Yes or no? Yes or no? Everybody? Okay. Now what this broker has did is, now broker has supply, place this. See, who made the order? The Jones placed an order for the supply of goods to broker has. Now the broker has sold the business to the Bolton. The broker has supplied the order. The broker has asked the Bolton, the Bolton, I have sold the business to you. I got one order for uh, I got one order for the supply of goods from my friend. Why don't you supply this good? Because now the business is yours. So instead of me supplying the goods, you supply the goods because you are running the business. Now this idiot Bolton supplied the goods to the Jones. This idiot Bolton supplied the goods to the Jones. Now Joan is denying that I'll not pay you the money. Now, Joan is denying that Bolton, I will not pay you the money. Bolton is asking why you will not pay me the money. 
सो जोन्स इज रिप्लाइंग इडियट नंबर वन बुलशिट गाय वेदर आई हैव मेड एनी ऑर्डर टू यू आई हैव मेड एन ऑर्डर टू द ब्रोकर विद द इंटेंशन दैट आई विल रिकवर द अमाउंट आई सेट अप द अमाउंट बिकॉज आई हैव टू टेक माई मनी सी प्लेस एन ऑर्डर फॉर सप्लाई ऑफ गुड्स टू सेट ऑफ द डेट देर वॉज अ डेट माई इंटेंशन वॉज टू रिकवर द अमाउंट फ्रॉम द ब्रोकर हस्ट वाई यू सप्लाइड मी द गुड्स I won't give you a single penny. Now the Bolton went to the court, and the decision of the court was the same. Offer was not made to Bolton, therefore no contract between Bolton and Jones. Whether the Bolton is liable to pay the amount? Whether Bolton is liable to pay the amount? Yes or no? I'm asking with you guys. Yes or no, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Answer is no. You got the case law. You got this case study, everybody. Yes. Acceptance must be absolute. Absolute means complete. Acceptance must be absolute. It means complete. The second one. Acceptance must be unqualified. Unqualified means unconditional. Unqualified means unconditional. In this context, please try and understand this. For suppose, for suppose I am making an offer that Saket, I want to sell my two houses. One is in T Nagar. One is in Rangnatham Street. The offer is for both the houses. The offer is for both the houses. I made an offer to the Saket for both the houses. Saket is given acceptance. Okay, sir, I'll buy the T Nagar house, but not this one. The offer acceptance is not complete because the offer for the the offer was given for the two houses, and you are given an acceptance for only one house that is T Nagar. Offer must be absolute and unconditional. Now, what is the conditional? Please focus on this concept. For suppose I offered this two house to Saket for rupees fifty lakh. Saket is accepting my offer. Bole yes sir, I'll buy this two house, giving acceptance for both the houses, absolute acceptance, complete acceptance. But telling me sir, I'll pay twenty five lakh rupees. At the time of possession, and this rupees twenty five lakh rupees. i'll pay next year whether i have given any installment facility in the offer whether i have given any installment facility in the offer the answer is no it means the acceptance given by the saket is conditional and we want the acceptance unconditional unqualified yes or no everybody now my question to you my dear student i am giving you one case law please decide what will happen in this case For suppose I am selling my Mercedes Maybach to Saket. For suppose I am selling my Mercedes Maybach to Saket for rupees twenty five lakh rupees. Now Saket is asking me, sir, I'll buy your car only if you will provide me a valid registration certificate of this car. It is possible that you have stole this car from someone. unless and until you will provide me a valid registration certificate i won't buy your car now please you tell me whether the acceptance is absolute and unqualified whether acceptance is valid whether acceptance is valid but saket is putting the condition but saket is putting the condition we want the acceptance unconditional but saket is putting the condition we want the acceptance unconditional what can be done anyone can you please give me the logic that will not come under condition exactly because expecting a valid registration certificate is not a condition my dear student expecting a valid registration certificate of the car is not a condition it's a requirement yes everyone 
एक्सपेक्टिंग अ वैलिड रजिस्ट्रेशन सर्टिफिकेट इज नॉट अ कंडीशन इट्स अ रिक्वायरमेंट सो इन दैट केस वी वोट से दैट द एक्सेप्टेंस इज नॉट वैलिड यस एवरी वन नाउ लेट एस मूव टू द थर्ड वन एक्सेप्टेंस मस्ट बी कम्युनिकेटेड एक्सेप्टेंस मस्ट बी कम्युनिकेटेड like how the offerer will come to know that you have accepted the offer you must communicate unless and until you are co- not communicating the acceptance is not valid acceptance must be in prescribed mode for suppose i have asked the saket in post by letter that saket will you purchase my house for rupees 10000 and i have prescribed the mode that saket you have to reply me in writing you have to you have to write a letter to me in writing you have to give me the acceptance saket is giving me acceptance on a phone call on a phone call even though i have prescribed the mode of letter writing even though i have prescribed the mode of letter writing he is given me acceptance on phone call whether the acceptance is valid or not whether the acceptance is valid or not what if 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 i if i don't have problem what if I, if i do not insist saket like saket i have told you to give me in writing you are giving me on a phone call if i am not doing anything it's valid if i am not insisting that saket please accept the offer in the prescribed mode if i am not insisting in that in that case the acceptance will added but if i am insisting that saket i have prescribed the mode that you should give me in writing in that case you have to give this in writing yes everybody time must be given in prescribed time for suppose i have prescribed the time in the in 7 days you have to give the acceptance so if you are giving acceptance after 7 days it is not valid it should be valid it, the acceptance should be given within 7 days the second point or within a reasonable time what if the time is not prescribed if the time is not prescribed we have to give acceptance within reasonable time what is reasonable time depends on the facts and circumstances for suppose i am offering for mercedes car for 25 lakh rupees without prescribing any time limit so in this case the reasonable time will be 15 days 20 days one month hardly this will be the reasonable time okay everybody just a moment now mere silence is not acceptance this case law is very interesting felthaus versus bindle mere silence is not acceptance what happened in this case please try and understand here the felthaus is actually a uncle felthaus is actually a uncle in this case and bindle is the auctioneer felthaus is the uncle and bindle is the auctioneer there is one more party there is one more party in the case the name is not involved niece niece of whom felthaus felthaus is uncle bindle is auctioneer felthaus is uncle bindle is auctioneer please try and understand ladies and gentlemen boys and girls felthaus is the uncle bindle is the auctioneer and there is one more party called niece as niece of felthaus so felthaus asked his niece that my dear you are having a white horse niece was having a white horse i want to purchase your white horse at rupees 700 euros for suppose example okay and the felt house the uncle is telling to niece that my dear niece if you won't reply me if you won't reply about this horse because i am giving you an offer that i want to purchase your horse for 700 euros if you won't give me any reply regarding acceptance i'll consider that you are ready to sell this horse the niece was like my uncle i don't want to sell this horse but still i will think about it i'll think about your offer so the niece was telling to the uncle that my uncle i'll think about the offer currently i don't want to sell this horse i'm taking your offer in my mind 
I have to take time. I'll think upon it and I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Currently, I'm not in a mood. Currently, I'm not in a mood to sell this horse. You please give me some time. Now, the felt house is telling you, please take time. But if you are not replying me anything, I'll consider that you are agree with by selling this horse. After this, the niece went to the auctioner Bindle. That Bindle, my uncle offered me for this horse. So you please don't put this horse on the auction. Keep this horse aside. You should auction other horse except this white horse. Because for this white horse, my uncle has given me an offer. And I am taking a time. I am making my mood whether to sell this horse or not. So until my mood is not finalized, you please keep this horse aside. Don't put this horse in auction. This Bindle number one bullshit guy. This auctioner number one bullshit auctioner. Put the horse in the auctioner auction and the horse got sold. And the horse got sold. Now the felt house, the uncle sued the Bindle that you should convert the sale and you should hand over me the sale, that horse. The decision was F could not succeed as his nephew had not communicated to the uncle. Nephew was being silent. Nephew was taking a time. Yes, I have uh, told the niece but it was a nephew. Yes, nephew was keeping silence. Mere silence is not acceptance. Yes or no, my dear student. Everybody. Felta's offer was not valid. Offer was valid, but the acceptance was not given. Offer was valid. But the condition was not valid. That if you will keep silence, I will assume that you are uh, eager to give me the horse. So, mere silence is not acceptance. Bindle was of the opinion, Bindle was of the opinion that no communication of acceptance was given by the nephew. If no communication was given, there was no contract. And when there is a no contract, there is no obligation. So, there was no need to return the horse to the felt house. The sale is successful and the bindle is also relieved from the liability. The last case, acceptance by conduct or implied acceptance. Now, acceptance can be by word, can be by mouth and writing. And the third, acceptance by performance by performance means for suppose you are going to the shop of maggie like grocery shop and you are asking bhaiya whether you are having uh, my brother whether you are having a, a packet of maggie of rupees 20 he will say yeah i am having he will not say oh you want maggie you are giving me offer okay offer acceptance tana, contract into picture now he will take the uh, packet of the maggie and give it to you no he will simply put a packet of the maggie give you the maggie this is also a acceptance this is also a acceptance. Yes, everyone. So here we complete the acceptance as well. Here we are done with the acceptance as well. Now, my dear student, this topic is very, very important. Communication of offer and acceptance. And it will take me around one hour to explain this. Whether you are ready to take a class for one hour more, whether you are ready to take a class for one hour more, it will take one hour to explain me. At least one hour. I want your opinion in this. Enough sir, we need to revise today's concept also. Now that's true. Please conclude. Enough today. Okay. Santhya, what is your opinion? Santhya T. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Santhya, yes or no? Yes, Savan, yes or no? Yes or no? No. Charulatha DV, yes or no? No, okay. Saket, yes or no? <laughs> Devishri, yes or no? Yes, okay. Sakti, <laughs> okay. Okay, we will continue tomorrow. This topic is very important. 
so we will continue tomorrow institute asked this question for six marks we will continue this tomorrow we are done for the day see even i understand even i don't uh, feel good to stretch the class in the online in the face to face it is possible to give a break and continue the class after 15 minutes 20 minutes or half an hour but in online it's absolutely like uh, troublesome to explain this so definitely we will continue this topic tomorrow okay everybody okay always welcome so with your permission can i conclude the session so with your permission can i conclude the session yeah thank you so much thank you so much everybody take care bye 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 everybody okay